Quebec's election campaign is expected to get underway in the next few weeks. Ramping up this weekend, members of the Liberal Youth Wing gathered in Montreal, where they voted on policy ahead of October 3rd. Matt Grillo reports. Showered in support, Liberal leader Dominique Anglade did not hold back when it came to Premier François Legault. He's going to hide as much as he can. I think he doesn't want to debate about his, uh, uh, his results in the last four years. The Liberals released their campaign slogan, Vote for Real, Real Issues, Real Solutions. The 4th of October, we would have a Liberal government with Dominique Anglade as Prime Minister. The youth wing voted in favour of bringing back the Dawson Expansion Project. And when it comes to Bill 96, the additional three French courses in CJEP would be optional. Spokesperson for the party says the Liberals will support these policies. But as energetic as the party is, the polls tell a much different story. The CAQ could win an even stronger majority, and there's a risk the Liberals could find themselves out of the official opposition. What we're seeing is an even split amongst a bunch of opposition parties, and that just makes life very easy for Francois Legault, who, if things continue like this, would win in a romp. The party could also face a battle for Anglophone support, with three other parties looking to steal votes from the Liberals. But political analyst Tom Mulcair says the Liberals will collect its share of Anglo votes. I haven't seen a very great performance from either of these so-called Anglo parties, these one-issue parties that sprung up in reaction uh, to, to Bill 96. I think that Anglade has shown a lot of strength. She went to Dawson. She took part in the march. We want to replace François Legault, and that's what we want to do. The alternative is the Liberal Party of Quebec. But Anglade is hedging her bets on a strong campaign to pull her party to victory. That's why we have campaigns. It's because campaigns matter and that people can express their ideas and also people are listening. It's not clear when the campaign will start, but the expectation is the CAQ will want a short one to keep the party's momentum going until October 3rd. Matt Grillo, CTV News.